Doreen has the flu with pneumonia and sepsis. Her condition was critical. She was mechanically ventilated and was kept in a coma for 10 days. Now she is awake again. She has no clue where she is and what has happened. She's confused, agitated, and quickly distracted. Her family is worried about her strange behavior. Acute confusion is called delirium. It occurs in half of the ICU patients. Usually, delirium lasts for a few days, but sometimes it lasts much longer. The extent of the delirium fluctuates, and it mostly increases in the evening and at night. Patients can be very absent, or even agitated, angry, or anxious. Causes for delirium can be serious illness, medication, pain, oxygen deficiency, and mechanical ventilation. Delirium affects the mind, and it can cause psychological problems. Early recognition of delirium is therefore very important. In the evening, Doreen is getting more and more agitated. She wants to get out of bed and pulls off her drip. She's in panic as she warns for spiders on the wall. Doreen suffers from hallucinations. During a hallucination, you experience things that are not there in real life. Sometimes these can be beautiful things, but usually they can be very unsettling and lifelike. One out of five ICU patients with delirium suffers from hallucinations. What can you do as family? Comfort your loved one. Explain where she is and for what reason. Put on her glasses and hearing aid. Use pictures, talk quietly, and read for your loved one. Warn the nurse if you noticed your loved one reacts differently than usual. Give advice on how you can calm her, what she likes and what she does not like. Your presence is helpful and always appreciated. Ask the nurse for support if you need it yourself. What does the ICU team do? They regularly assess for pain and delirium. Mechanical ventilation is used as short as possible, and medication is prescribed as less as possible. For orientation, there's a clock, calendar, and a poster with information about Doreen. They ensure for early exercises, day and night rhythm, and they give specific medication in case of serious agitation, anxiety, and hallucinations and they guard the safety of your beloved one. It is very difficult to experience delirium, and also remembering it can be very traumatic. It can result in guilt and shame. For the relatives, it can be very stressful to see their loved one so anxious, agitated, or even combative. The delirium and hallucinations decrease when the patient's physical condition improves. Doreen received information about her delirium, which was very important for her and her family.